It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes. Talking about tapes. Hello, Tony. <laughs> Hello, Johanna <laughs> and Crystal. How are Hi, guys. You? How are you? I'm doing all right. How are oh you man, I'm doing great. Good. I uh, great. I watched an art film the other day. I don't know where I got it from. One of the tapes in here. I watched this art film. It was really weird. And then someone called me, and they said seven days for you to return the video. No, they just said seven days. So I don't know what what it was referring to, That's but weird. it reminded me about huh? that movie, The Ring. Have you yes. heard of it? Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, I thought we. Were, I thought those. Oh wait, no, that's How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. My God. Oh, I can't <laughs> <laughs> so yes, The Ring. Uh, we are reviewing Ringu. the ring, Ringu. Ringu, which I actually I saw it a million million years ago. Yeah. But I rewatched Ringu last night. Ooh. I didn't realize uh, Sonata was in it. The guy. Yeah. We've reviewed a couple of his movies on this show, and unfortunately, they're terrible movies. What is it? What movies? He was Scorpion in the new Mortal Kombat, and he was the guy who planned the heist in Army of the Dead, uh, which won the Oscar uh, fan moment. You know why? You know why I got that right? Ju Justice League wasn't considered right because it was going. It was. Oh yeah. So all the angry Snyder guys, I think, voted for Army. I might be wrong. Who gives a shit about the Oscars anyway? <gasps> So, because when they said Army of the Dead one, I was yeah. like, "Why?" Yeah, I'm like, oh, the Snyder won. guys. Yeah. But still, it was not good. So anyway, the Ring, Ringu. Yes. I watched it for the first time in a million years, and I really liked Ringu. Uh, I went back and looked into the history of this franchise. Yeah. Of course, it started off as a book. I did not read it. Yep. Was it ninety one? I think. Yeah, much like Juan the Grudge, it was a made-for-TV movie first. But they have not re-released the made-for-TV ring since 1996 on home video. It was actually made? Yeah. I didn't know that. Same thing. When people think of the original Grudge, that's actually the second time they made it. And same thing happened with the yeah. ring. So before Ringu, there was like ring something something. And I was like, oh, I want to see that version. Because apparently that's like the most faithful. But like, I'm sure I can find it. I'm sure there's a rip of it somewhere. But it hasn't that. been officially released in a long time. But yeah, they made ring. And people, Ringu and Spiral... Not to be confused with the Chris Rock huh. movie, uh, which is like the sequel came out at the same time in Japan. And yeah. Spiral sucked, yeah. which is why they just made Ring Two, which ignores Spiral. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Didn't they this do some Spiral stuff in uh, was it the Rings? Is yeah, is that the rings. new one? Yeah, it came like twenty seventeen, like eighteen, whatever yeah. the hell. I didn't see that one. So yeah, so but Ringu was really good. It became a huge franchise. Yeah. In Japan, along with The Grudge, and eventually they crossed over. So I want to rewatch all of them just to watch that yeah. the fight. movie. Because uh, that's a pretty fun idea. Um, I would love to talk about the difference between the two movies, too. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, I, cool. Yeah. Now that I've watched them back to back, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they remade it yes. in 2002, right? Yes, 2002. Uh, it was October of 2002. Directed by Gore Verbinski, who we all know from Mouse Hunt. And Pirates. Mouse Hunt. And I mean, I love Mouse Hunt, and I still want to talk about Mouse Hunt, but you keep telling me no for Mouse Hunt. Why? Nah, the kids' films don't do too it's well. It's not a kids' it's film. Not. Like, it, yeah, it's a Is kids' it? film, but it's it's a, it's not a kids' Adulty. film. Adulty. Since we don't have a copy of The Ring, let's just no. put Mouse Hunt here. <laughs> uh, we have a copy of The Ring, too. Oh, Nathan Lane. Which apparently is directed by the guy who directed the original ones. They were trying yeah. that for a bit. So, so this movie is important because it started... The trend, or at least popularized the trend. It did. Because every time you say start it, someone goes, it was it, this first. It's yeah. like, all right, all right, popularized. Of just America finding a, an Asian horror film and yep. going, yeah, let's just redo it. This is probably the best one of those. I like The Grudge. I like The Ring better than The Grudge. I mean, I like The Ring better than The Grudge, but I still like The Grudge. Also, they, I just realized a few years back, they re, re, remade The Grudge, and mm -hmm. I didn't see that. Yeah, version. I didn't see that either. Uh, how many I times can you do it? Um, yeah. I get, I get the girl going backwards down the yeah. steps. Like <laughs> I get, I get the first time to make it for an American audience, yeah. but then you're just doing it for an American audience again. again. It's like, well, we already saw it. We're good. Um, yes. So this came out in 2002. I saw it on video afterwards and I did not like it. I, I, I wasn't a fan of it. Why? why? Yeah. Why? I just like. I think I was just in that weird teen era. I was watching all these like cool horror films that were like more fun and blood and gory. Name one. Around this time? Mm -hmm. uh, 
Well, I mean, just in general, I was watching like the Friday Thirteenth. I was watching. Okay, but which one? Jason X. I was watching Jason. <laughs> All right, X. really? All right. Yeah, yeah. Really? I, was, you know, I can't argue with that. I mean, this She's came out the, the same ring, year though? as Halloween Resurrection, and oh I was more focused on Halloween Resurrection. I, you had me at Jason X, and yeah. then you yeah, just yeah, lost me after that. And you know, around this time, I'd be more likely to watch a movie like Wrong Term than <laughs> The term? Ring. Term. Huh? Wrong Term. Wrong Term. <laughs> the wrong term. The wrong term. I didn't have any water. My mouth's dry. Uh, yes. Uh, so I, so I, he was just I, way too cool. Yeah. So then like, years later, years later. Oh, got you. Edgy Years hipster. later, I got into Oh my Japanese god, were you on messaging boards too at this time? Is that why you didn't see it? Because you were literally an edgelord? I, de I definitely was on message boards making fun like of this Bloody movie. Disgusting and everything? Oh yeah, oh, I was Jesus definitely on bloodydisgusting.com. Oh. oh god, I was on those forums all the time. Anyway, oh. uh, thank god those things are gone. <laughs> <laughs> why? Questionable No past? reason. <laughs> oh. Hashtag cancel Tony. <laughs> available and shit. So years later, I get into Japanese horror, and I got real into like uh, Juan and whatnot. Mm. I eventually saw Ringu, and I really, really liked it. But I've not rewatched The Ring until because I was at that point where I'm just like remakes suck. So I went from being ah oh, this horror movie sucks to me being like remakes suck. But I everything sucks apparently. Everything, everything sucks. Are you yeah. sure things are fine and fun? <laughs> or fun and fine? <laughs> I think you're lying. However, I rewatched it last night. And uh, I still don't think it's very scary, but I think it's a fine movie. Not even fun? It's a little too sad to be fun, but it is a fine movie. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, uh, that, uh, like, some things are sad about it, but the overall story that they were setting up to be the sad thing and then they twisted it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, I think um, it's fine and We're going to go more into it, but <laughs> yeah. uh, when did you first see The Ring? Do you have a fun story involving a birthday? It was my birthday when I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> So all I, that was it. Um, actually, I was actually with my, uh, actually actually I was with my family last night, and I went to rewatch it. And my sister was like, "I don't want to watch this right now." And I was like, "What are my sisters?" And I was like, "Why?" She goes, "Because when I went to go see it with you for your birthday, it was the most petrifying thing." She's like, "I can't watch it. I just can't watch it." Because she was so she was younger. She was probably. Eight years old, and it freaked her. All right, the like, fuck yeah, out. I, I can understand. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. I yeah, see that. so that was fun rewatching it on <laughs> Pluto. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll circle around to that because I also watched it on Pluto. We on Pluto. When we get when we get Paramount to a, Plus. <laughs> when we get to a certain scene, I'm gonna I'm gonna recreate what ex, what happened to us when we watched it on Pluto. I don't know if you got yeah. quite the same commercials, maybe, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, when did you first see this? I don't know. I was young. My friend had a bunch of VHS tapes. Same person who uh, introduced me to the mummy. Was Ghost a Ship. That was the movie that came out around this time that I was more into than The Ring. What would you prefer? You were in. More into. You were into Ghost Ship. Well, compared to the, compared to like this that? movie, yeah, at that period like of time. Ship? Now I'd be yeah. like, yeah. We should the... go back and talk about Ghost. No, again. We're <laughs> Ghost Ship again. let's talk about Ghost Ship again. <laughs> anyway, uh, now I would. Uh, I love Ghost Ship, but it's like not a good movie. <laughs> the Ring is at least Actually a good, good movie. So your friend who showed you The Mummy showed you this. Yeah, she had a bunch of VHS tapes and I always remember being like, oh, let's watch something. And then we were watching things probably we shouldn't have been watching alone. Were you scared? Um, I don't know if I was scared. Things were like disturbing or whatever, but I don't think I was actually like scared. Like I didn't go yeah. home and like, oh God, I can't watch TV anymore. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I know people it happened to. Yeah. But it just had creepy vibes and it was like a little dessert, like the video aspect, the actual video mm -hmm. freaked most people out. And also I saw Alien at this point, too. So, like, mm. if I'm not scared of Alien, why would I be scared of the yeah, ring? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's it for me. There's creepy imagery, but there's nothing really like scary for me. I can see how this could be scary to other people. But yeah, yeah. Um, it's, just disturb then, it's disturbing. Yeah. Also, this yeah. is written by a guy named Aaron Kruger, who went on to write uh, many things, including Jessica's favorite movies. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers Dark of the Moon, and Jessica's favorite film, Transformers Age of Extinction. I can see her writing Jessica. over this right now. Yeah. Yeah. Can you not no. hit Dragon Sound? I'll throw. No, that's a good movie. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's get into this wonderful film. 
Wait, are we going to talk about the difference between Ringo and the Ring, though? You want to go through it, or oh, I don't care. Talk about it as we're going through it. I don't care. Sure. Why did you set it You want to front load all the comparisons? <laughs> I thought it'd be more fun to go <laughs> through the movie. Whatever is more fun and fine, fine and fine. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. <laughs> So I have that the movie's blue, but it's actually like a dark green. It's like a bluish yeah, green. Like a foresty green. Yeah. What a green. I thought more no, like a yellow. Wait, green. wait, 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 Johanna, what kind of green is it? Hold on. You know what movie is blue? Twilight. <sighs> we should do Twilight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, on Johanna, one. is it? Is I got it... Ian obsessed with Twilight. I don't really? even like Twilight. Oh! Is it that um, kind of? That one. No, 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 it's more of a yellowy green. Yellowy. Yellowy green? Yeah, like that, like a. No, it's more of a bluish green. I was thinking more. Maybe it depends on what TV you're watching it on. You're like going too fast through the cycle. Go a little more, tiny more blue. No, a little more green. Okay, <laughs> you're literally like as if you're moving it yourself. A little, little more. It's like around that. Okay. See how there's like still like a tinge of like yellowy to it? Yeah, 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 yeah. For those of the listening that. on the podcast, I'm changing the colors <laughs> in the studio. And I'm directing him to do it correctly. <laughs> per no, every day of my life. Close enough, close enough. I wish you could just copy yeah. and paste in that app, but anyway. That'd be fun. Uh, yeah, so let's go into it. It starts off, uh, two girls are talking about a uh, urban legend about a tape. Yes. Apparently you watch the tape, there's creepy imagery, and then you get a phone call saying you'll die in seven days. Although that's never what the phone call says. No, it doesn't. It just says seven days. And you're like, seven days what? Yeah. So, so how do they know oh. that they're going to die in seven days? Is my prescription ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, wrong number? What's going on? And then so, I just think of scary movie. I can't watch this movie almost with a straight face. Oh my God, what is it? The, the beginning movie. and she's like, oh my God, you slut. <laughs> you whacked her with the pillow. <laughs> Create that scene, please. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally create that scene. Oh my god, I love uh, Yeah, so yeah, the one friend is uh talking about how she watched the tape with friends in a cabin. Yep. Uh what was a boyfriend. It? What was it? They were trying to watch a football game. A football game. Or record yeah. a football or game. Record a football game, but instead they, they recorded, got a signal yeah. of this weird tape and then the phone the phone rang for them. Yep. Uh then she pretends to die. But the tape was real. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a little confusing. So is this the origin of the tape or has the tape happened before? Because how does this girl know about the story? I would assume it happened before whatever and it just happened to be a coincidence that she stayed at the cabin. Okay. All I right. think that's so, what happened. So whoever's at the cabin, if they're watching a tape, yeah. it'll it'll broadcast. Okay. I don't think, no, no I don't think it's. No, it doesn't broadcast. They wa- yeah, I don't think it's. They had the, the physical tape. Yeah. They were, trying to, they were trying to record a game it. there. No, no, what I mean is. The entity will broadcast onto a tape if you're at that place, and then people probably if you're think. recording, yeah. Not well, if you're just watching you're, a tape. No, 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 no. no. She I think sorry, it's... spoiler alert. She can project images onto things with or without it. Yeah. Yes, it's oh. part of her power. Yeah. Okay. There's a name I for would, it. I would have never gotten that. From yeah, because yeah, because there's other it, tapes. The same thing. Mm. Yeah, because it was no. they had that tape like that they recorded on and they put it in the little like library yeah. of tapes. But there were other tapes there, whatever. But like. Why would he have a bunch of tapes that show the same thing over and over? I don't know. He's not watching. No, all. Actually, actually, hold on. Yeah, hold on. I'm pretty sure it's just a one tape. tape. Hold on, hold on. I'll get back to the cabin guy later on because uh, I think he did watch the tape according to a deleted scene. Now, huh? so the two girls, uh, turns out the tape was real. Yeah. Uh, they're very, very scared. Uh, they get a phone call, but it turns out just to be her mom. Two yep. fake outs. Yep. Now, this is a lot like the original, uh, but this is a little bit more drawn out than the original. Because the original, it's like the phone call with the mom, and then the girl turns around and she's like, ah, and then she turns black and white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say the original, like the Ringu version, definitely. This first scene is the most comparable. Yeah. Comparable? Compar- comparable? Compar- yeah. Comparable. Comparable. <laughs> I oh, it. by the way, enlarging is a word. You jerk. <laughs> anyway, you keep going. You still sound stupid saying it. Keep going. You do sound stupid saying so, that. Fuck you. Keep going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so those ones are the most similar scene in both films, if you had to compare. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. They pretty much start shot. off. Yeah. It's almost shot by shot. But then after the scene, it definitely dives yeah. off into its own thing. But um, I like that this one's just a little bit more drawn out, a little bit scarier. Which is weird because Ringu, most of the Ringu is actually not, it's more drawn out. 
Yeah. I think the ring is so much more fast paced and it's more of a mystery. Mm. And Ringu is definitely more about um, what's happening. Yeah. But it's longer, it's eerier. And it's also, there's no color correction in this. So it seems a little bit more real. It, no, in this, there's color correction. There's color correction. I'm sorry. Yes, there's in color the correction. Original. This, the well, original. Every movie has clear. color correction, but that yes. had more natural colors. Yeah, it's yeah. natural. They also tried to light people so they wouldn't cast shadows on their face to look more uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm. And everyone just kind of looks a little sick in some scenes. It's like, oh, man. Yeah. Take a nap. You They're all in bad. Seattle, and it looks like it's like London or something. <laughs> it does. It's weird. Yeah. It's like always it's raining. It's very rainy, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they they draw it out because uh, the TV's on. She turns it off, comes back on. She's looking for her friend. She sees the mm -hmm. water and whatnot. Uh, and then we see her like die. We see every image from the tape real quick, and we see her like turn fleshy, like she turns like her, real pale. But you don't, yeah, but you barely see it. Yeah, barely. Now, see now it. this is a very, very creepy opening, a very scary scene. You know what ruins the tension for it, Crystal? What? When you're watching it on Pluto, uh -huh. and immediately right after she screams, it cuts to a Pampers commercial. Uh, I can't tell you how much it takes you out of the movie. Uh, really, Jessica? Could you could you simulate what I had to watch? Can you show this the screen cutting to the Born to Be Wild Pampers commercial? <laughs> Born to Be Wild Pampers. So yeah, Pluto, it's a free app. It's gotten better. It was bad before because yeah. it was hard to tell what was live and what was on demand. Um, they just put so many commercials. There in was so at many at really mm -hmm. awkward times, and it's always the same three commercials. Yeah, I got Can't Pampers, really. Born to Be Wild, Ancestry.com, Ancestry, and then hmm. uh, I wonder why you got Ancestry. I don't know. Well, well, I also got a uh, local politician. Fake it. I got a local politician running uh, a campaign that Johanna will really like. Um, wow. He was against liberal lockdowns. I'm like, oh, Johanna's definitely voting for this guy. Uh, so I saw those three commercials. So I think you should do that second one, the ancestry, so we can finally prove that you're truly not Italian. I am Italian. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think you're a liar. So I think he's lying. I got so. New Jersey Lotto, Ancestry, and then I don't even know what the other one was for. I got no ads because no, it wasn't. I had it was Oh, I got it. You got Power Out Plus. Watch <laughs> Halo. Watch Halo I and will. review it for the fans. I will. Uh, I'll yes. wait until the finale, though. Huh? I'll wait until the finale. Okay. No. So, a uh, big difference between the original and this. Uh, Naomi Watts is a hard-working woman, single, independent woman. Yeah. Journalist. Yes, journalist, which is like in the original film. But this movie focuses way more on her relationship with the kid. Oh, yeah. And it really downplays. I mean, the, the ex is kind of helping with the investigation, but he's not really like leading the charge with it like the original. I In the original, they're kind of like working almost neck and neck together with yeah. this. But in this one, it's just like you kind of forget about the boyfriend. But you also kind of forget about the kid in the original. Oh, yeah, they just ship him off to the grandfather. Like, yeah. right, get the fuck out of here, kid. We got shit to and do. And he's, like, such a big part of the movie. I yeah. really do like the relationship that aspect better in this one than the Japanese version. I feel like it kind of sucks you in a little bit more and you care more about the characters. Now, uh, now, what was difficult for this is her kid seems to be played by a tiny man. Huh? He just looks like a tiny. He looks like he does not remind. You he of just a looks like kid. a weird adult man <laughs> that got hit with a shrink ray. Not a little person. I just think a, it's the lighting. No, it's his voice. And the dark, his dumb yeah. face. Yeah. I was like, damn, kid, his, you are his right? weird serial killer haircut. He just looked like he has a bowl cut. Yeah, Apparently. weird serial killer haircut. He just looks so weird. So I was listening to some interviews, um, interviewing the actors, and the director was saying that the kid was amazing to work with because most kids are really hard to work with because they don't you can't really dive into characters he wants to know everything like what is the relationship with the dad and why and he was asking so many questions to actually dive into this character yeah. he was one of the best kids the director said he's ever worked with yeah he calls his mom by her first name yep. rachel. yeah rachel he goes back and forth a it's a very times, white though. people thing he mainly says rachel <laughs> yeah if i called he's my like, mom rachel. by her name i wasn't even allowed to say her or she i always had to say like mom or something like that oh i'd be well, <laughs> if I, I say you're weird, you call your yeah, I, mean, I call my grandmother Anne. Uh Anyway, <laughs> uh, so the teacher is concerned <laughs> because uh, what's his face has been drawing pictures of his dead cousin, who was the girl in the beginning. 
Mm-hmm. By, by the way, for all the foot fetish people out there, the reason she was so barefoot in the beginning of the film uh, was because uh, she had flats that were made for her, but they were too tight and they were pinching her toes. Oh. So she went barefoot. That's in the IMDb trivia. I don't know why that oh, was wow. such an important thing for the trivia. Why is she wearing shoes around her house? Huh? <laughs> why is she even wearing shoes around her house? Yeah. I don't know. Also, shoes. the IMDb trivia is like they are dressed like Japanese schoolgirls to reference the Japanese origin of the film. Like, have nah, you ever seen a Catholic school? Yeah, girl? I'm like, no, nah, I yeah. think they just. I, I mean, I get maybe that's yeah. what they were going for, but it's clearly just a Catholic school uniform. It's definitely yeah. not a Japanese. No, they look like yeah, students. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know why that was such an important fact. I'm thinking, like, all right, all right yeah. some creepy guys adding facts <laughs> yeah, here. That's what it is. <laughs> That's why I was like, I like, I feel like so many of those facts are just completely wrong. I'm yeah. gonna say like 75%. <laughs> so yeah, she's upset that uh, the kid is drawing his dead cousin. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's like, well, it's ha- his way to cope with the death. And she's like, he was doing this last week. And yeah. he's like, oh shit. Well, it's because he actually, they don't go into this, but he has powers. Yes. And in the Japanese version, it's actually- It's a little, a little bit, bit more, more spelled out. And the dad has powers, which this dad does not have he any. He does it. And which is weird because like later you find out more people in the Japanese version have powers. And you're like, this is, it's a little bit more of the supernatural mm. in the Japanese version. And this one is definitely not. And definitely more on the investigation side, yeah. like I said. He tells his mom that apparently his cousin gave him a heads up that she was going to die. Kind of a weird thing to yeah. do. Hey, yeah. child, I'm going to die. At some oh. point. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that kid. Yeah. Imagine telling that kid, hey, yeah. Alexa, I'm going to die. Do you know how you're going to die? Can you tell me more about how you're going to die? How do you it's never really explained. Uh, so, yeah, they get to the funeral. And actually, <laughs> people at the funeral are debating, like, how she died. They're like, how did you have a how stroke say, like, when you're that young? Like Drugs and stuff like yeah. What drugs? Like, especially the way like you found her face. Yeah, so How'd that's she get in the closet. Huh? How'd she get in the closet? I As she know. was dying, she probably like no, but fell that's into not the, closet. the door was closed. Yeah. Well, maybe it was the front. She was standing in the doorway. Samara closed the door. But it looked like she was like hiding in there. Like, yeah, it looked like she was hiding. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, later you see like she just. Like, you don't see how she kills you or anything. She just comes out of the TV. And- I want to know. We never find out what Rebecca was doing during all this. We know she witnessed something and it fucks her up later in the movie, but we don't know what she was actually doing there. Yeah, you don't see yeah. her. I guess she was in that room witnessing it, but couldn't move or whatever. Anyway, oh, God, the yeah. reveal of the girl in the closet, still pretty scary. That was like the one scene that made me jump. I saw her face. Because uh, it just cuts to it and it's just like, Wee! Yeah. Uh, and there's, it's like that in the original too, I think. Well, um, the original's not as creepy. So they wanted to make the original more minimalistic. Yeah. And the face isn't as distorted. It was more just like open mouth. Yeah. Scared. Uh, but just the reveal is oh, pretty creepy. Yeah. Now, you know what's not creepy? When it plays this, it immediately cuts to Ancestry.com. <laughs> Yep. And some guy talking about how he found the history of his great grandfather. Yeah. And I'm like, that was an awkward cut. I yeah. wanted to cut to that. There was so many. <laughs> Why? Why? I know. Like and it, and it worked. I'm signing up for Ancestry.com. <laughs> I bought some Pampers for my sister because she's about to have twins. And uh, I'm against those liberal lockdowns. I'm voting for that guy. Oh, Thanks, Pluto. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this ad is not supported. <laughs> <laughs> He's tough on China, apparently. I got him over in China. Oh, my God. <laughs> tough on China. <laughs> so, yes, uh, that scene tough is very, China? very creepy. Um, never heard what's his face when he says China? I have. China. Also, this part, much like Jennifer's body, I had a moment where I went, holy shit, that's Adam Brody. <laughs> <laughs> so all the kids are like, her friends are outside talking yeah. about how they went to like the cabin and they saw something weird. And then Adam Brody's like, I'm a weirdo. He's yeah. got like a weird voice. He's like, he's so weird. Random. He's like talking all monotone, kind of yeah. like this. And I'm like, why are you even in the scene? They yeah. all watch the tape. Are you friends with them? Like you're yeah. so out of it. Yeah. He's like, they all watch the tape and they all died at the same time. And what's her face is like, well, that's a fucking coincidence. I should probably look into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought, because again, it's been so many years since I've seen this. I'm like, is he a big part of this movie? Nope. nope. That was it. Nope. I don't understand though how... All these kids can die at the same exact time from the cabin and no one looks into it. Like she's well, ju- no one, she just finds out. Well, the out. thing is no one knew they went to the cabin together. But sure, but you see four friends just randomly die? Like you don't think that's There was a news? bunch of different things that like, for example, like uh, 
Katie, whatever, had a stroke, and then the boyfriend committed suicide. And, and the woman was like a car accident or something? Yeah. Like, it, oh, like, yeah. Don't so you think I, I was, it would still be bigger school news when all these, I know they went to different schools, mm. but I don't think all four went to different schools. I think it was just like, I don't remember. Well, I don't don't know. you think that would be big news? I mean, you would think, but I think it's because it wasn't like they didn't die the same way, so it wasn't really looked into. It was just a free coincidence. I will, I I will say four this. four people die in your town. <laughs> Plot, okay. <laughs> I, I, I will say this. I, I was reading up because it's like, so the one was driving. It's like, where did what did Samara come out of? And they, yeah. And I think they said it was a motorcycle, so it's implied that she came out of the screen in his visor. Well, spoilers. Uh, I think it's in Rings. Uh, she makes a plane go down. So, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get into Ring Two a little bit because um, I'm finally gonna watch it. I've never. I'm gonna seen finally Ring watch it. And you it's, never watched oh, it. Oh, I've, oh, I've watched one scene the from deer? the Ring Two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we made fun of that years ago. We were watching Iron Man 3 and there's a CGI deer. And I think me and you both at the same time is like, we're, we were like, you know what movie has bad CGI deer? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, God. Is it really that bad? It's really bad. Yeah. It's, so, it's, 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 is it fun bad or is it just bad? No, I was just laughing historically because it was so bad. Really? Yeah. Okay, oh, the CGI deer are really bad. Really? Okay. It's, and Naomi Watts, and in the same year, she's in King Kong with this like amazing realistic ape. And then she's in this movie with just the <laughs> fakest looking deer. So, oh, Naomi Watts. Uh, so the kid definitely has some kind of ESP because uh, he's able to see like visions of his cousin and stuff. Yeah. Uh, in, in this version, he kind of just it looks like he's seeing into the past of her running up the stairs. In the original, he actually sees the ghost of his cousin run uh -huh. up the stairs. Uh, so he can see like ghosts or visions or whatnot. Um, Naomi Watts finds, uh, get ready for an old sentence here. All right, she right. finds a receipt, uh, for a photo developer and she goes oh. to get her niece's photos, uh, picked up. Yep. Remember when you had to send the film away to get developed? Yes. The good um, old There days. was so many times though, where I had like digital cameras and they put it down their pants and they would take pictures. It was a lot of the guys, mm -hmm. the boys, and we never got the pictures back because it was inappropriate. That's how you... A lot of the photos were ruined. Ugh. Yeah, it was like at birthday parties and stuff like that where they would steal the camera and. Yeah, because yeah. they could get in trouble. They probably have to, like. I'd be like, just throw out that one and give me the rest of yeah, my they photos. Wouldn't do it. They would say they couldn't give no. us the photos. That's never. Like, that sucks. Yeah, that's never happened to me. Thank God. <laughs> Are I, you still developing photos or? People no, are just in general. It. Like, I, just, I would, all the time, whatever, especially as a kid, I would always be like, all right. Use up all my photos, going to CVS, getting that developed, and it'd be done in like an hour. Oh, I thought yeah. you were taking like weird pictures and. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing yeah. that to. Yeah, That's how I got the pork. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> all right. So it's developed but somewhere, guys. Go for it. It's still <laughs> into digital camera. Mm -hmm. Or, um, yeah. Physical, yeah. 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 Like Some people physical. even have the, like the red inside. rooms and stuff too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so. those are so cool. You ever developed them? I never got to. No. <laughs> Sorry. I, <laughs> I thought a uh, seat of Chucky. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> when John Waters dies, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. When I was um, when I was in oh. college, I took like a photo oh. uh, class, oh. um, film photo class. I should, I should probably film show. photo class. A film photo yeah. class. Yeah. Okay. Photography class Just when you photo. use film. Okay. Uh, I'll show some of my lovely black and white photos I did. Uh, my oh, the lovely. one of me is Jesus. My teacher held on to to show the next class as uh, Jesus. Yeah. With the the assignment was to photo photograph God, and you could do like a mountain or nature. And I dressed up like Jesus, and I had Keith take the picture of me as Jesus. How old were you? It was college. I was nineteen. Oh my God, nineteen twenty. Um, uh, but yeah, I had to use the chemicals and everything, and it's a pain in the ass. God, yeah. God bless you if you do that. Uh, don't get the chemicals and open cuts in your hand. No, I would say yeah. don't get any chemicals. Aren't you in supposed open? to use like little like? Tweezer things to like. Yes, I forget how exactly it happened. I think it's when you know we were what you scratched your like eyeballs. So you know, <laughs> yeah. no, there's something you have to put it in like a thing and shake it up. And I guess afterwards, I got a little bit on me. And it burned so bad. So that's how she John Waters died. Huh? That's how John Waters died. Yes. So she gets the photos developed, and she realizes all the cabin ones are normal until one point where all their faces are screwed up. What? It's like the very last picture where it's the group picture. Yeah, and they're like, ah, mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't get that. Could you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <got you. laughs> now, Naomi Watts, uh, she goes to the... God damn it, I had a prop for this. Hold on, I'll be right back. This what? Unprofessional. So unprofessional. Piece of shit. Naomi Watts goes to the cabin where her niece stayed. 
Uh, and she's talking to the guy who runs the place, and he wants to be a magician. Yeah. Take your card? No. Damn. It was cute. Uh, he tells them that the TVs don't work, which is why they have a VHS library, and it's made up of tapes, just people left. Mm -hmm. You guys want to talk about tapes? No. I got a list of all the ones I could make out. Uh, there is Visions of the World. Mm -hmm. Quest of the Mighty Something. There was a glare on the tape. Mm. Send of a Woman with Al Pacino. Go back and check out our Godfather review. Family Pilot from the Alfred Hitchcock collection. Have you seen Family Pilot? I haven't. Oh. Spontaneous Combustion. That's a John Landis film. Uh, which we got uh, James showed a clip of it a few years ago. Too many games. Shattered. National Geographic's Eternal Enemies, Lions and Hyenas. I think I actually did watch this growing hyenas up. Hyenas are so really? cute. I always think Lion King when I think hyenas. Garden Pond Basics. I would watch that. The Open Water Experience. Mm. The Looking Glass War. Like Alice Looking Glass? Or is it just... Yeah, America it? over there through us in World War I, 1917 oh. <laughs> to 18. Wow, America okay. over there through us? What? Okay, okay. Over there. Oh, that should say the US in okay, World I'm War like <laughs> My phone, my phone auto-corrected. I was here, I was here late us. trying to get Alien to process because YouTube is screwing up our uploads. Oh, God, just put an American flag. America over there through <laughs> us. Right. Sodom and Gomorrah. The Adventures of the Wilderness Family. These Steel Magnolias. Oh, I like Steel Magnolias. The man, I think we have Steel Magnolias. Anyway. Um, eh. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what you got? The Man from Snowy River. Okay. And two other tapes I couldn't make out. And then the last one was Your Hunter from the Future. I, like, my jaw dropped. I'm like, holy shit. That's a 35th anniversary one. Yes. A uh, major film reference your Hunter from the Future starring Red Brown. God damn, this movie's awesome and stupid as hell. I love this movie so <laughs> oh my much. God. Uh, it has an audio commentary from Red oh, Brown, which I actually have not watched yet. But I've had this for a while. Red Brown, who, of course, we all know as the original Captain America. Uh, so, yeah, I was real excited to see your Hunter from the I Future. I like how you there. just what you just paused it and like you looked really close I to did. see which one. Yeah. The show is called Talking About Tapes. I thought it was important so to talk, to talk, about, talk the tapes. about the physical tapes. Got it. Speaking of tapes, she watches the tape. Yeah, it's just it doesn't take one any... tape though that without a cover or yeah. anything. She doesn't take any notes. I just can't watch a movie if someone watches a tape without taking notes. It just doesn't seem realistic to me anymore. Uh, but yeah, she watches the tape and it's like an art film. Yeah, that's there's, literally there's a, what it looks like. It's just an there's art a lady film. brushing her hair in the mirror. There's a scary little girl in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Horsies. Horsies, a uh, girl jumping eye. off a cliff. Dead horsey. Creepy old Dead guy. Uh, yeah, so. Burning tree. Yeah. A burning tree. <laughs> Nail going through a finger. Isn't that a, uh, like a festival or something? Burning tree? No, burning. Burning, burning man. man. It's burning man. A friend Dick goes Let's make burning. I love Let's to make burning, burning tree. <laughs> yeah, we make burning uh, tree. I'd love to burn some tree. So yeah, the, oh. the tape is oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> the tape is good, but I think I liked the simplicity of the other tape and the other film a little bit more. Minimalistic. Um, like. Well, this one, it's just like, wow, Samara is really good at like 3D motion graphics. Yeah. <laughs> this one definitely had a lot more theatrical aspects to it, yeah. and the other one was just minimum and creepy. Um, I can't tell, but when she turns off the TV, is there anyone in the reflection? It looked like, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be like Samara was still looking at her because there was definitely like a silhouette of something or if it's like Naomi Watts is like face. Like okay, because in the like original when she watches, she turns the tape off and you see Samara in the background. background. She like turns to look at it and no one's there. Uh, that's actually the creepiest moment for me in the original. And I, I couldn't tell when I was watching it last night and I wasn't I about to rewind because... I could. I don't trust the Pluto oh, app. No, more commercials. More <laughs> uh, the Pluto. For some reason, every time I would try and rewind a little bit, it just completely synced off. Yeah, like the, no, no. The I tried watching on Pluto first, and then I was like, "Wait, this is on Paramount Plus too." And I, well, yeah, we did a uh, worst text exchange, so I watched that Leatherface prequel on Pluto, and it was such a nightmare. Yeah. But, like I would miss the scene and then have to fast forward. It was a whole thing. So she gets a call. She does, and it says seven days. Seven days.
And she says, to what? <laughs> what happens in seven days? Yeah, that's a week. Hello? Seven day, you know, that's a week, yeah. She doesn't star 69 them or anything Nothing. to figure out who it was. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, no. so her son, <laughs> so she just lets her son walk out in the pouring rain to go to school. Yeah. And I was like, what a bad mom. And then he runs into his dad who says nothing to him and yeah. then ignores him. And I'm like, and you what still a don't bad know dad. dad. Yeah. You don't find out until like later. Yeah. You're like, what? Whoa. It was it's very a- like abrupt. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, So uh, all of Naomi Watts's selfies are morphed mm-hmm. they're just all the disfigured. original digital home selfies <laughs> yeah where you had to just guess you were taking a picture I and then think check. I got it right <laughs> this is a good angle right <laughs> <laughs> so uh the ex Let's wants one nothing to do with, <laughs> oh so the ex wants nothing to do with this whole thing like he he doesn't really care no. uh but she convinces him like hey i'm gonna make you a copy of the tape uh yeah. can you figure this out he watches the tape and he says it's fine. And I actually like the scene where while he's watching the tape, she goes outside and sees how everyone is watching TV. I really like that, yeah. Um, and then it's unclear at this point. It's like, hey, did did he get a call or not? Because she deletes the message before she ever plays it. He definitely got a call. Yeah, he definitely got yeah, the call. Yeah, but it wasn't right away like the other times. In the original, it's he right. doesn't get a call. Because, like, what was it? You had to watch it at that place. You had to watch it at the cabin or something like that. He does get killed in the original. I think that's a yeah, twist, but for some does. reason he didn't get a phone call. I don't know Weird. why. Um, so the ex actually looks into the tape and he has no idea how it got recorded. Like the numbers are all off. The tracking's all off. Um, yeah. And then like he tries to like adjust the tracking to see something. And Someone's very unprofessional. So yeah, he's messing with the tracking. They get into like a little bit of an argument. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then his girlfriend walks in. And this is a change. In the original, it's like, it's the dude's student. And it's kind of implied that maybe something's up, but never really spelled out. And this one, she's like, what's up, honey? I'm your girlfriend. I'm going to give you a kiss in front of your ex. I love her too. That's, um, what's her fate? Isn't she, because she's in NCIS or, NCIS. Right? Is, is that, that the her? goth girl from NCIS? I think that's the goth girl. I think it is. Oh, I could be totally wrong and lying to you guys, but Jess, I think that's the goth Crystal girl. Crystal wrong. I could totally be wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. Just right. Crystal is wrong. <laughs> or no, Crystal is right. And then <laughs> I like words that say Crystal is right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do like when she walks outside and sees the ladder. Yeah. And from the tape, and she's like, what? And it's just a ladder that leads to nothing. This guy's like, it's bad luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A painter comes yeah. out out of nowhere. Like an old timey painter comes out. <laughs> Watch out, Missy. Bad luck. You don't need that. Uh, but yeah, she's looking at the ladder and she's like, oh, shit. Is like, is, is images from the tape following me into the real world? Hmm. I was making a movie with that kind of idea. I had to pull the plug on it. Uh, the movie will never see the light of day. <sighs> But we, I was doing something similar where something in the tape was starting to come out into the real world. Uh, but yeah, I like, I just like that whole scene for me. I don't know why. Twelve-year-old Tony would have been like, "Stupid fucking ladder." <laughs> Where's Jason in a robot suit? <laughs> I'm sorry, but every time I see a ladder, though, it's like in a city version. I always think uh, Final Destination when the ladder comes up. <laughs> high. Every time I see. It, mm, well, mm-mm. this one is a mm-mm. wooden one, wasn't it? This was huh? a wooden one. Yeah, it was yeah, like an old timey yeah. wooden one. What was he even painting on that wall? Sorry about it. Maybe graffiti was up there. So she visits uh, Becca in the insane asylum who has to like be shielded from the TV because she's terrified of TVs. So these TVs though in this in this version don't look scary, but in the original, they are petrifying. Mm. The TVs just have more of a glow yeah. and they're more, they're overwhelming, mm. especially when you have the size because a lot of the actors, their faces are very close to the screen. Yeah. So it looks like the TV is Yeah, that creepy TV larger. lighting. Yeah. Here's the TVs are just like, they don't look scary. And when in the original, it's just, that's the premise of We actually it. have the lighting we bought for Secret Project. Um, they have like settings on them and they have a TV setting where it makes it look like a little Oh yeah, 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 I was playing TV. with those. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever played like uh, Dead by Daylight? Yes. yes. She's in yeah. the game now. I haven't played as And you her. can like fast travel like through TVs. It's really cool. I you can like really hack cool. into the TV. I haven't and turn played it off that so game go through it. as much. Dead by Daylight. We should do a thing like all of us like one night yeah. to stream on Twitch. I would love I'm that. I'm really bad as playing as the killers in that game. It's the opposite. Figure it out. It's the opposite Whatever. of Friday the 13th where I was great as Jason. 
I tried Dead by Daylight, and I just suck uh, as the killer. I just bought Friday the 13th. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have to play it soon. So, yeah, she knows that What's-Her-Face is going to die somehow. Yeah, she just she just knows. Like Apparently, this fingers, scene yeah. was kind of lifted from, I think, Ring 2. Huh. Because in the original, you never find out what happened to the girl's friend. She just disappears. Mm. No, she used, they see her. They visit her in the hospital. In the, wait, in the, in the original? original? Yeah, they visit her. They do? Yeah. Did I miss that? I think you did. Yeah, they visit her in the same asylum. Uh, maybe that's when the cat threw up on my bed. <laughs> um, that happened when I was watching the original. God damn it. Brand sure. new queen size like bed spread. I'm like, oh, it's oh, so nice. Baby. Space cat jumps up on the bed. I'm like, hey, <laughs> space throw. cat. And she's like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> my cat doesn't throw up hairballs. He no, just I comes for cuddles. Um, yeah, I think it's because the cat saw Tony's yeah. face. Jordan used to do that to you too. Not on the bed. Yeah, huh? Mm, he did it everywhere else, but not on the bed. No, he definitely did it on the bed once because I remember one time, whatever, I was over at your house and my foot, I didn't have a sock on <laughs> and I touched it and I was like, what is that? <laughs> Why the bed? I don't understand. She sleeps in the bed. Why does she want to throw up on the bed? So anyway, um, she goes somewhere else to adjust the tracking on the tape. Yeah. Uh, and she sees the lighthouse. Uh, when she adjusts the tracking and then eventually the tape breaks and she's playing it back and she sees the fly and the it's, film is paused yeah, but the moves. fly is moving and then she pulls it out of the TV and their nose is bleeding mm -hmm. and if this were me I'd just start screaming oh my god <laughs> oh my god ah I would just scream nonstop. There's nothing just like it's normal she's like, like huh I wouldn't stop screaming that would break <laughs> my mind so much that I wouldn't stop screaming I'd be like oh no Homer when he got hypnotized or whatever, <laughs> yeah. and he, like, he won't stop screaming. It's him, like, driving home, screaming. Yeah. The <laughs> that was I would be like that. I, I was just uh, Instead, she's like, huh, pulled a fly out of TV. Well, let's go to the library now. It's like, wait, you pulled a fly out of the TV. I think at this point, she's and your just nose like... is bleeding. <laughs> uh, but she yeah. finds out who the lady on the tape is, mm -hmm. whose name I forget. Um... Why do I want to say Morgan? Anna Morgan. Anna, Mor Anna Morgan. Yeah, Anna Morgan. Yeah, uh, she finds that's the last definitely name Morgan. Is Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. So she finds articles uh, about um, Anna Morgan and her horses dying. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's like, huh, that's all on the tape. And even Anna committing suicide is also on the tape. Uh, and at this point, the ex goes into a uh, grocery store and he looks at the security camera and his yeah. face is all warped. He's like, oh, fuck, I'm going to die. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, no. I really like this scene because he's like going like this and he's like, oh, shit. And then the dude, the clerk, the whatever, is just like, yeah. It, <laughs> I like he's like, you're going to die if you smoke cigarettes. That was fun. <laughs> um, I fucking lost it when Naomi Watts is having the dream where she's coughing up the cord. Oh, I couldn't watch. I couldn't watch it. I couldn't. I, couldn't watch. I actually had to look away because I was like getting gaggy watching. It. I was like, her face was no. so funny. I couldn't stop laughing. No. And we kind of get our first appearance of Samara sitting in a chair yep. and like yeah. grabs her and leaves a mark on her. Um, I'm but look at the handprint. <laughs> whatever. Uh, she wakes up and she hears some noises. And what could it be? The tiny <gasps> man. I mean, her <laughs> son watched man. the tape. And I like how both versions are like, no! No! Yeah. I love how they gave her a sliding door in the remake to imitate the sliding door from the Japanese one. It's like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> um, watch the tape. Who? Our, our son! son. <laughs> oh, shit. So in this one, he just watches it, right? Yeah. And the other one, he said, like, he was told to he watch it. He was told it. to by a spirit. Yeah. yeah. Which sounds kind this of This one is, he's just saying he couldn't sleep. Yeah, he's like, I couldn't sleep, so I put on the scariest tape I could find. Just yeah, tape, why? Like, I'm gonna pop this in. Yeah. Well, don't put a don't put a blank tape on no. from your parents. You don't know no. what's on there. Yeah, you don't know what's on there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Grab grab a Inspector Gadget or something. Yeah. Mouse Hunt. Mouse Hunt. Yeah, watch Mouse Hunt <laughs> by Gore Verbinski. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, she finds out that the niece was drawing the vis vision she had. Mm. Uh, and she's like, why is this in my brain? Um, and then Watts and the ex, uh, Watts and her ex, they split up to do parallel investigating, which is different yeah. from the original where they're kind of together that yeah, whole time. Kinda. It's because she knows that she has, she's going to die soon. Yeah. She's just like, 
we have to do this. And then the whole exactly. origin of like Samar and the mom is completely changed from oh, the original. Oh, totally this point different. On. So in the original, you find out like there was this doctor who was experimenting on this woman mm -hmm. uh, who had psychic ESP abilities. Yes. But then as you learn, you find out her daughter had even stronger abilities. And then he killed her. Uh, I think the mom killed her, killed herself, and then he killed uh, Sadako. No, she mean? ended up. The daughter ended up killing someone, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. yeah but then the afterwards, daughter ended up killing. Yeah, yeah. because because they was did a presentation the of the mom's ESP. They yeah. yelled at her, and then the daughter psychically just killed people. Yeah, because she can she, project. She only killed one person, I think. Yeah, yeah. But uh, she could project these images into people's minds and shit, which is the same here. But in this one, it's like uh, she meets up with Brian Cox. Um. Who's oh, actually, hold on, this? hold on. We're skipping a major part. A part oh, that's yeah. not the, the original. Ferry. The ferry. Yes. Before that, sorry, they get on the ferry. Uh, oh, this is so sad. <laughs> and she's like, hey, what's up, a horse? But like, if you and see the a horse freaking out, just back up. Back the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Instead, she's like, horse, calm it's down. Okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, the horse because, really Because all that. white women think they're psychically connected to animals. You are not. No. The animal doesn't know what you're saying. No. I actually heard a funny story about this scene earlier. Mm. A friend of ours who worked in a theater because, you know, it's fun to work in theaters. Yeah. Uh, Justin Silverman. Yeah. Uh, apparently, <laughs> when he was watching this scene, because it was back when they still like project it and it's like the little tiny thing, whatever, where you have to use the film or whatever. Uh, he watched the scene through the tiny hole because he hasn't seen it yet and the horse part happened and he started laughing so hard that it went through to the theater and people were really mad and wanted to get their money back because it ruined the movie. <laughs> but I, like, will, I will say it's fantastic. It's, like, pre it's pretty fucking funny when it, the horse falls it's off. Like, like, what? I feel bad when it goes under the boat you just that see the trail of blood. blood. Yeah. The little girl screams. Yeah, well, I mean, that was her horse. Yeah. So I guess I would scream She was psychically too. connected. She, she felt the pain. Yeah. <laughs> then she goes there and meets Brian Cox, who's uh not wanting to deal with her shit. Um, I feel like that's every Brian Cox role ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't have time for this bullshit. <laughs> he just has this horse ranch and no horses. Yeah. He's like just, what is he mending to? Yeah. Like, nothing. Um, I guess he does something else on the farm, nothing. just not horses. Uh so the ex <laughs> finds a bunch of files on Samara. Um, and her mother, uh, and I guess the ESP, the son's ESP helps him communicate with Samara somehow. Little things, not much. Yeah. Don't dive into it really. Because it's he like, she shows he like calls the mom or something. And he's talking about how like, yeah, she showed me this. She showed me that. It's like, well, she doesn't show anyone else. So well, he must the, have something. Well, the mom called to say, Hey, where did you see the, uh, the picture you drew of the house? Like how, how did mm. you know this even existed? Yeah. But they also, the house is shown in the video. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. So but I would have thought he would have just seen it from the video. So she honest. goes to visit a doctor on the island and we get the whole backstory on Samara, which mm -hmm. is different than Sadako. Apparently they couldn't have a kid. They left the island one day. Lady came back with a kid. They don't know where. Yeah. I like in the uh, the original because they never find out who the father is. They're like, was he even human? And mm -hmm. I think it's implied that her father could be some weird sea spirit. Maybe they go into that in the other movies. I don't know. Um... But yeah, she's like, but when she got here, like people were getting like sick, the horses were dying, yep. the economy went pretty the, bad. There was no fish. Yeah. So she's like, oh, once yeah. uh, Samara left, and the, the lady doesn't know what happened to Samara. She's like, mm -hmm. once she left, everything was fine. So we'd like to keep it that yeah. way. Uh, and that's, that's also when uh, Watts finds out she was sent to a like a psychiatric yeah, yeah. place. Does any of this sound familiar? Brian Cox with the child who could project, project images into people's heads? No. What? It's literally X2, X-Men United. His son Jason does that in X2. And yeah. like they came out like X2 came out a year after this. It's like it's the same thing. Yeah. Did he not look at both scripts? Is like, am I playing the same guy? Yeah, he's really Again, good at he it, kind right? of plays the same guy. Like, <laughs> he's good. Brian Cox, original Hannibal Lecter. We forgot to mention that. Oh. Yes. Um speaking of that, uh well, not that. Um Samara's dad, Brian Cox, stole the tape. From yeah. the uh, center, uh, and what you call it, Naomi watch watches the tape, and it's like a therapy session. You find yeah. out she was projecting images onto film, and she's all creepy. She's like, "Dad doesn't like me. He likes the horses more than me." So she she hates horses, I guess. Uh, she oh, has yeah. another she has another reason to hate horses. Uh, <sighs> I also like the uh, you don't want to hurt anyone, but I, I do, do. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yep, you don't want to hurt anyone. 
but I do, and I'm sorry. Uh, she's a little under- girl. Sorry, she's a little girl who uh, does Lilo's voice in Lilo and Stitch too. Oh, really? really? When I found that out, I shit myself. I was I, like, "You went from that to that." That's <laughs> like, amazing. Actually, the little boy is he not the little boy from the Texas Chainsaw remake, the Jedediah kid? Is he the kid with the goofy teeth? It looked like him. Oh. Anyway, uh, Bar- Brian Cox has the most elaborate suicide I've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> He's like, "I'm gonna hook my up." My guy. He was making sure he was gonna die. Yeah. yeah. Because it just, the voices don't stop. And can you yeah. imagine her haunting you your entire yeah. life? It's like she never sleeps. Yeah. She never sleeps. She's you come in the, here. And, and now he's responsible yeah. for all these other deaths because of her spreading the tape around. It's like a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, then he puts the horse thing on. and just like, Oh <laughs> my God. Why'd you go out in such a heavy metal way? Just He wanted to make sure he died. Yeah, he did. But like, there's also TVs, which is definitely significant mm-hmm. in it. Yeah, but. I guess so. Damn. Maybe he wanted her to watch. Like, here you go, bitch. And then uh, oh. the the ex head just happens to be there just at the happens, same time. Yeah, There's they find out. Just happens yeah. in this movie. Sorry. The way this cuts too, because it goes from like, oh, I just saw a dude literally horrifically kill himself. Yeah. Oh, my ex is here. Oh, let's go to the barn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, like yeah. let's call the cops. Let's do what. Blah, That's blah, blah. literally what my mom said as we're sitting there watching it. She goes, "Wouldn't you just call the cops?" And I was like, "To be honest, though, she." This bitch is gonna die in like a day, so maybe I would have called the cops. True, but also it's just like, uh. Yeah. So they go to the barn where the creepy ladder is, and they see that. I like actually like the production design of this, like Mm. the little room inside. I really like that. Um, So yeah, he made her a little room because he didn't want her in the house because she was scaring them. So he put her in the barn. She didn't like the horses, so she gave the horses all nightmares and drove them all crazy. Uh, And she draw. She apparently projected the image of the tree onto the wall which is the tree from the cabins. Mm-hmm, so that's mm-hmm. when they go, we got to go back to that cabin. Um, they return to the cabin under the floorboards. They find the well. Uh, around I don't this, like that part. Wait, wait. Around this part, <sighs> apparently there was a deleted scene where the guy in charge of the cabins, they find him dead. So he must have like watched a broadcast or something of the uh, tape at some point. That would be an interesting. Yeah, because I was wondering, I'm like, how are they chopping up the floorboards and not getting yelled that's at? That's what I was wondering too. And apparently there's a deleted scene where that guy died. That actually would make a little yeah. bit more sense. So, uh, I just thought they were just kind of doing it, and they're like, mm. "Whatever, we'll deal with the repercussions later." I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. like all that you're about to die. Like I feel like, oh fuck yeah. it, I don't care if I have to pay for this. Like, <laughs> and this part's a little bit more dramatic than the original, where the guy goes down, but there's too much water, so he's like constantly giving her buckets. Uh, and then she's like, "I'm too tired to hold the buckets," and then yeah. he slaps her and tells her to get her shit together yeah, and throws her in the well. Die. Yeah, throws her in the well. I, that's what this one was missing. Uh, throws her in the well to get the water out, and that's when she finds the corpse. But in this one, because it's the American remake, I actually like the setup of like the nails coming out of the floor. It reminds me of Hellraiser. Yeah, so anything reminds me of Hellraiser. Uh, I like Hellraiser with. a lot. Uh, but but like yeah, she, she marbles though. Can we just talk about the fucking mar- how just he just happens to knock over a thing of marbles and it happens? Oh to yeah, yeah. Was like it has to be something here, and he's just like yeah. throwing everything around, and then just the marbles. It, that's what like, I oh. hate it. I was like everything that scene was just just happens to be there. Yeah. They just happen to do this. They just yeah. happen, and I was like, "What's plot?" Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, but in this I version, love this movie, it's just. The that version, she gets into the the well because the TV, a scary TV comes knocks. and knocks her in the head and then she falls down the well. It's fine. <laughs> She's totally <laughs> yeah. fine. It looked like she hit her head on the way down too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's fine. Uh, <laughs> I was like, that's a little ridiculous. Like, and that, there's not that much water in this well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she can would've, stand. Yeah. She would have. She would have. She would have been dead. That's a shallow. Uh, thing. But yeah, she's down there and she finds Samara's body, and then I think we get the flashback, which yep. they heavily trim this down. Apparently, if IMDb trivia is to be believed, <laughs> so the mom took her there uh, years ago before the cabin was built uh, and strangled her mm-hmm. with a plastic bag and threw her into the well. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, in the original cut. And you can probably see it. There's like a rock next to her. Like this. Yes. No. Yeah. That is. Yeah. This is true. The strangling true. took too long, so they beat her in the head with a rock, and then slammed her head against the well, and then threw her in the oh well. Oh my god. But I guess they were like, I don't think she's surviving seven days after that. Well, how about we just keep it to like yeah. the bag? They, they yeah. show like when she's down in the well, whatever, because it looks like she just goes straight down and doesn't hit anything. Yeah. But you can see blood trailing from her head for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then the ring. That. The ring is. The when stone she, slab being moved to make uh, the image of the ring. 
the ring for the original, like according to the author of the book, it was like to symbolize the cyclical nature of the plot, how they have to keep continuing this. Oh, I like that. So that's the ring. And then some people Cycle. interpret the ring in the original as like the phone call you get, like the ring. Oh. Uh, but this one, they went with the whole imagery of the well. I like the... I don't like the ring of the film, but I like the other two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, she's all sad and she finds Samara's body and just, just that, just a happy Good. ending. The curse is she's lifted. The evil her. is defeated, as they say in Debbie Cabin Chase, in the Woods. Chase, I think her name is. Devay Chase or something like that. It's like similar to fucking what's his face? Debbie hmm. Chase. Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Uh, I think wait, it's Chase but or now which Chase? one? That's the actual little girl. Because then there's an older girl who's the stunt woman who yeah, I yeah. met at a convention years ago. Really? Yeah, that's years and years and years ago. I don't know. I kind of would feel a little freaked out pulling up a little girl and then it yeah. going yeah, it's into Debbie it. Chase. Yeah, and then uh, she survives. Oh my God, look how big she is. She's 31. Oh my god. <laughs> she survives. Oh. <laughs> she survives the whole thing. Well, Naomi Watts survives the seven days. Uh, and she's like, he's like, how long could she live down there? And he, she goes, she seven must have days. lived for seven days. Uh, and what a happy ending. I turned Yay. the movie off at that point. Um, anything else happened in the movie? No, that was it. <laughs> that was it. No one else. Psych, the curse isn't lifted. Uh, you helped her. And the son's like, why did you help her, you idiot? <laughs> I love that. You weren't uh, supposed to help her. Now, she doesn't sleep. Now, the, the Don't whole. Don't you understand, Rachel? She never sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> the whole uh, sequence of the ex being killed. Uh, by the way, the ex in this has the biggest goddamn apartment. That, it's like the apartment in The Fly. Like, what is it about like these yeah. edgy techie guys in movies having like the biggest goddamn apartments ever? I wasn't ever? sure though. The very first time I always thought it was an apartment, but then watching again, I was like, could it be an office space? I think it's or both. both. I was or thinking, both. I think it's or both. both. He yeah. just lives I think it's literally Much just like, like a giant studio. And it, legit, like, yeah. it legit reminds me of the fly, even to the elevator and everything. Um, so yeah, he gets attacked and it's similar to the original, but in this version, Samara has like this VHS factor around her, which I actually really like. Mm -hmm. Uh, the only thing is, she's so colored, you can't really tell her nails are gone. And the other oh, one, they no. like close up on her fingernails, just being because she they yeah. broke off. That would be because Rachel sees it in yeah. the well. Yeah, and I remember, like, I don't think I expected her to come out of the TV. I don't think anyone really expected her to come out of the TV. No. Uh, but I remember, even even though I didn't like this movie, I was like, all right, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's how I love that scene. Yeah, she just crawls it out is, of the TV. That, I think that's the creepiest. That's what creeps most people out. Yeah. <laughs> she just yeah, literally crawls out of the TV, or whatever, and then she like stands off, or whatever. She doesn't even like st take a step, or whatever. It's just jump cut. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they like zoom like the up her biggest... hair moving. She's yeah. Like, yeah. That's the two biggest things of like these movies that freaks people out is that and the grudge with the girl walking backwards. It's just this. She doesn't human. walk backwards. Or not backwards. Or what is it? Like, like no, crap? Is it? She doesn't no, no, you're thinking of the exorcist. She, no, she crawls oh, on she all crawls fours. she crawls like that. Yeah. And she does that. Uh, yeah. I know the uh thing. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe it's just like the uh, weird. Uh, uh, God, the, the, the original grudge scared. I have a story about that. I thought she had like her, because she was like crumpled up. I thought her like legs were like over her like shoulders or something like that. Maybe in another one, not the original. I could have. Anyway, he's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Rachel finds he him did. just sitting in a chair. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, puddle of water around him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just he around did. him. So the whole thing is she figures out the reason she was spared was because she made a copy. Mm -hmm. You have to keep the cycle and going. And she started like destroying the tape and like throwing yeah. it in the fire. She's like, why didn't I die? Like, what did yeah. I do that he didn't? That's so, a hard connection to make almost though. I don't think I would have figured that out. Well, she wanted to know, she goes through the steps of what she did different. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I made a copy. So Samara wants you to keep like this thing going. She just wants to be her. I remember her saying like she just wants to be her. And then she's also connecting that with her kid too. Which yeah. It was kind of cool. So she makes her kid make a copy of it. Mm -hmm. he's and then like, he's like, what do we do with the person that we show this to? Do you want to know? It was cut out. Chris Cooper was in this film. Big actor, Chris Cooper. He was uh, around I this wish. point. Yep. At this point, he was in adaptation. Uh, to our younger audience, he was in the reboot of the Muppets movie. He was the bad guy who couldn't yeah! laugh. Uh, so yeah, so he's in the beginning of the film, apparently. I didn't watch the scenes, um, or even if they were released. Uh, but he's in the beginning. He's a murderer who says he's sorry or whatever. And I guess Rachel was investigating, like writing about his murder. 
And apparently the original ending was she like gives him the tape because it'll end with him because he's a murderer and he deserves to die or whatever. Hmm. But they cut out that out. And I think there was another version where she might have just left it in the video store or something. I don't know. Um, huh. But I like how it kind of ends where it's just like, yeah, know. we don't know what happened. I mean, I'm sure they explained it in Ring 2. <laughs> but I haven't seen the Ring 2. I've only seen the deer scene from the Ring 2. Oh. <laughs> um, Does it go more into it? Not really. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's more of uh, Samara wants a mom, and because Rachel was nice to her, Rachel's gonna be her mom. And, oh. and they moved away from Seattle too. They're like somewhere else. It's this whole yeah. It's oh. it's a mess. That's so anyway, mess. I don't like that. so I'm gonna watch all the Japanese ones. Okay. And the American ones, okay. and I, I definitely got to watch the other Grudge movies. I love yeah. that first one. The first official one uh, is so good. The Grudge and. Yeah, that terrified mm -hmm. me. And I want to see that versus movie. I really want to see the versus movie. <laughs> it's on Shudder. It's been streaming on Shudder. Shudder has, Shutter has Ring, Ring 2, and Ring 0. I don't know if it has Sudeku, which was 2019. The series is still going, by the way, in Japan. That's insane. They tried to bring it up back in Rings, but apparently yeah. it did not no. take a, like, Dan, bombed. Did you actually watch Rings? I saw like bits and pieces of it. I haven't actually like watched the whole thing. It bombed in the theater. Like, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. So like I know like what's happening and everything. Yeah. I've seen some scenes, but like I haven't sat there and watched the whole thing through because I kind of okay. don't care. But yeah. So now as now that I watch it as an adult, I really enjoy it. It's fine. Uh, as a remake, I think it really works. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas a lot of these movies, the problem is this one did so well. There was at least more time between this and the other one. Uh, this one did so well. But they took, like, the story. They yeah. changed the story. They're like, all right, we're going to do this different. We're going to do that different to make it different than the original. Uh, and they took their time with it. They got, like, a really competent director yeah. on it. And he went on to do great things and then terrible things. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I think it was pretty good. I think uh, the negative stuff around this is from all the movies that came afterwards. Yes. Uh, yeah. Dark Water, uh, One Missed Call, Pulse. Yes. I want to see the original Pulse again. I saw that in college, and it was I terrifying. I did not see the original. The original Pulse was really, really good. Real trippy. And then the one with Kristen Bell is just fucking garbage. Well, but I have it on HD DVD now, thanks to a fan. Re-release it over here and just and put just out the titles. Yeah. Just or dub it. Or dub it. They did yeah. it with that, what was it, Squid Game or whatever? I don't yeah. know. Did they do it with Train to Busan? Uh, oh. I think that was subtitled. Yeah. Okay, but what, it was was so it, what was the other movie that came out that was like huge, and it was like on Hulu for a while? It was, I think it was another Korean movie, but it was like Parasite. Parasite, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, why can't we just release it and just read the subtitles, yeah. you lazy I'm people? Fine with that. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're remaking it, uh, Train to Busan, I think, whatever, but they're making it, like, for New Train York City. Train to Detroit or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. I'm yeah, like, what? yeah. Like, stop. Yeah, now, stop um, I don't mind, like, dub. Like, th these days, dubs aren't so bad. I think the negative no. connotation around dub is back then. Yeah, in the past, especially with animes and stuff, because it was terrible. Yeah. yeah. But, but these days, you can watch a dub of something and it sounds yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I recommend if you haven't seen The Ring, definitely check it out uh, for, as an example of a good remake that sticks true to the original, but changes things mm -hmm, to make yeah, give it its own identity. Yeah. I think we always talk about the new Suspiria doing that. Yeah. Um, oh, so but yeah, and I, I don't so good. I don't necessarily find the movie very scary. That, right? No, we didn't do a review of that, Can right? Can we do a review of the new Suspiria? Can we do a double like how you did Dune? That would probably <gasps> be good. I would love to do Can that. Can we? Yes. Oh. Just yes. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. We're doing well, it. I don't know. My audience, they don't really like these modern horror films with women. Guys, it's, we're doing it. Midsummer we're doing didn't it. do that well, guys. All right. That was a great episode, too. It I know. What, some of the best episodes are the ones the audience don't give a chance to. Like, it's like, come on, give it a chance. But Suspiria is Watch so something good. that's not based off an 80s thing for once. God damn it. I know you want to see me talk about Ghostbusters, but sometimes I want to talk about the movie about the guy who gets shoved into the bear suit. <laughs> And then set on fire. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that is it from us. You recommend this movie? I absolutely do. Yes. I really do. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Do you like The Ring? Do you think it's overrated? Do you hate these films? Uh, are you an edgy boy like I was when I was 12? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, make sure to like, totally. share, and subscribe. Call our voicemail line, which I haven't done in forever. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Uh, call our voicemail voices. line. Uh, send some mail to us. And please, if you're listening to this, on a podcast app, please give us a nice rating. Oh, yeah. I want to get in that top 100 of film review podcasts. That would be definitely. Awesome. And uh, yeah. that is it from us. I'm on my seventh day since that phone call, and I'm, I sure hope no crazy skits happen.
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.